Therefore, experts thought about the discovery of new alloys to create armor material. There are various techniques in this area. The British superbine it by isothermal hardening. The technique involves sequential heating and cooling of the metal to eliminate micro cracks. Chemical and thermal treatment called nitriding also attracts the attention of scientists. Saturation of the surface layer of the metal with nitrogen, followed by the formation of nitrates, significantly increases the hardness of the surface and as a result increases the level of protection of the armor plate. This method allows you to reduce the thickness of the armor. In some cases, ceramic armor is also used, the same durable but lighter armor. Its disadvantage lies only in the fact that under the action of the projectile, it cracks and loses most of its protective properties, unlike steel, which is simply pressed in. Therefore, at present, ceramics can be used as an element of multi-layer armor necessarily in combination with other materials. 